Bellator MMA Now presents tonight's double main event in the first of our two world title fights. We're scheduled for five rounds or less for the Bellator Bantamweight World Championship. Sanctioned by the Illinois State Athletic Commission and cage side director Nancy Ilg. And now first introducing the blue corner. At 5'11", weighing in 135 pounds even. With his Grand Prix Championship, he earned the interim title and enters tonight as the number one contender, bringing an impressive professional record of 18 and one, fighting out of Buffalo by way of Angola, New York. He is the challenger, Patchy Nolo. And across the cage, the champion tonight fights out of the red corner at five foot six, weighing in 135 pounds. Coming off a stellar performance tonight, he makes the third defense of his title as he enters with 23 professional victories, five defeats from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Ladies and gentlemen, the defending Bellator Bantamweight World Champion, SP Sergio. When the bell rings, you referee in charge, Jason Herzog. Okay, guys, we're going over the rules in the back. This is for the championship. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. I'm not ready to fight. Much anticipated showdown for that, the undisputed Bellator Bantamweight Championship. Sergio Pettis, six consecutive wins. Patchy Mix looking for his sixth straight victory. And he feels bro, he's going up. to submit Pettis fast. He says no disrespect. They spent time years ago at Jackson Wink MMA helping Pettis prepare for his fight with Brandon Moreno in the UFC. But Mix, who is used to blistering quick starts and the master of the back takes in MMA. That's why they call him, John, the human backpack. Absolutely right, but let's just be honest in those scenarios in that training room which is a training room and years ago sergio Pettis was not punching patchy mix in the <laughs> face so he was in his realm of where he's strongest patchy is an unbelievable grappler sergio Pettis is an unbelievable striker his footwork his speed he has just gotten better and better it's amazing that i've been around this guy for about 13 years and he's only 30 years old trained by legendary striking coach duke rufus at rufus sport his main headquarters although he has been peripatetic preparing for this fight moving around getting different looks preparing for he feels at this time in his career considering what patchy mix represents he considers mix the toughest test of his career and this is again a guy who just defeated the bellator goat patricio pitbull question mark kick attempt there by pettis and of course the taekwondo black belt Known for those flashy kicks and Mix picking up Pettis. And puts him down. It looked like it could have been a thunderous takedown instead of gentle landing for Pettis. But still, Pettis finds himself on his back. I was a little surprised. I thought he was going to carry him towards his corner. That's really not what he did. Then I thought, okay, he's going to the center. No, he didn't. I had a uh, flashback of Matt Hughes' back trick momentarily, but it didn't end as dynamic. 315 left here in the opening round scheduled for five for the Bellator Panamweight Championship and this is going to be a great guard by Pettis. Great sequence to see what does Pettis do to defend himself and what offensive attacks is Patchy Mix looking for. Very nicely done by Sergio Pettis. You saw Patchy take his legs, bring them together. He was starting to turn the hips. He was going to slide over. Sergio saw it, brought the leg out, kept him in guard. Mix looking to well, go right to full mount, but now the butterfly hook in by Pettis. And, and what the, the problem for Pettis is, is not everyone creates that same pressure. And now he has pass guard into side control. And Patchy creates an incredible amount of pressure for a guy that is weighing in at 135 pounds. He feels like he weighs 450 pounds.
Two minutes now remaining in the opening round. And Nisha by Pettison now the butterfly hooks are in. Which is up to elevate. It's a good position for Sergio course. Pettis. Yep, yep. Now it's going to be tough to keep Patchy there, but anytime he can deploy those butterfly, that butterfly guard, it is a great defensive art. You just have and to there's the levitation move. there as tries to elevate. A minute and a half left here in the first round as Mix is back inside control. Elbow strike to the forehead of Pettis. Final 60 seconds. That is doing a nice job of still defending. The real difference here, Marl, is you're seeing Patchy Mix is moving to better positions. That's making this a complete grappling round and where his dominance in the grappling is going to win in the and round. He just freed his left arm and left hand, so Mix now able to. Improve his position, wants to neutralize Pettis. Under 30 seconds left, and heavy pressure on top by Patchy Mix. Knee to the ribcage. That was a very nice, clean strike. And another knee. That one was at least blocked by the arm, even though it doesn't feel good. So Patchy Mix scores the takedown. It's crazy when you look at the two that they're both in the same weight class. Yeah. Yeah. This is round at number two. Lone takedown. Looking to be the, the big difference in that opening round. Not a lot of offense as Mix outlanded Pettis 10 to 7 total strike. Taekwondo black belt. Pettis. Another dynamic kick. This is with the spinning back fist. You see that? How he. That's good though. You see the speed that he's using. That speed is a difference maker for him. Of course, the spinning back fist led to that incredible knockout win. The come from behind win over Kyoji Horaguchi. He now finds himself again in the clutches of Patchy Mix. Looking to take his back. Has done it. He's got one hook in. Now, this is what Duke Rufus is talking about. And uses the cage to launch himself, trying to employ that body triangle if he can. Maneuvering. And Patchy Mix has indeed secured the body triangle on the defending Bellator Bantamweight champ. This is just a matter of. Taking your time. Don't try to force things. Make him make the mistake of where he puts his hands. Trap it on if you can. You notice how he's getting that trap. Look at the right arm of Sergio. This is getting bad for him right now. Because as soon as he pushes that one off, he's got one arm to defend with. This is trouble. He is in deep trouble. He's going to go out. Yep. Patchy Mix. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage with the rear naked choke in tight. The tap comes officially one minute, 51 seconds into round number two. The winner by submission. Now the new Bellator Bantamweight World Champion, Patchy Nola. I'm here with your winner and new Bantamweight World Champion, Patchy Mix, Patchy, that was a beautiful performance in the second round. When you got the back, you did a fantastic job of trapping the arm. You jumped it off of the cage. Did you feel like you were in full control at that point? Yeah, man, I've been grappling so much this camp. Uh, my man, Kobe Fair, uh, Fair at Basharat, Javid Basharat, man. Uh, these three guys, man, Jeremy Kennedy, all these guys, Monday, Fridays, man. 
we just been getting in Ali's class. So, you know, I've been running that back series. And I knew three years ago I got there on Archuleta. I should have trapped that arm and did it then. But three years later, I came back for this belt. You ran through everyone in the World Bantamweight Grand Prix. Now you've just gone and beaten a guy who has not only won that belt, he defended it multiple times. He's a fantastic fighter. Who is it you want next to go after you in that belt? It don't matter, man. I'm the best in the world. 135, I'm the best in the world. It don't matter if you sent King Kong in this bitch tonight, I was gonna whoop his fucking ass. Sounds good to me. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the Bantamweight World Champion, Patchy No Love Mix.